Hi guys, coming to you live from Beijing Shunyi District. I'm currently at the World Intelligent Connected Vehicles Conference. So these are the very new types of new energy vehicles, and I have been spoken to a few um, consultants here. They introduced me to different types of vehicles that include plug-in, hybrid model, as well as the usual hybrid model we see that is uh, being efficient by using gasoline as well as uh, generate electric power. So on my right hand side is Beijing Shendai. Um, there are these are the new models they put out here. Um, a little bit uh, background and specialty about this uh, exhibition is that um, they don't have salesperson here, but instead of having salesperson here, they put uh, engineering uh, experts here to talk about what the engine is really about as well as how they uh, designed this uh, car as well as what it really used for. And we can take a pic here. Oh, first of all, the price. You must be wondering how much it costs. It's about 260000 um, That means about $20,000 uh, in US dollars. Uh, but just because the country is really trying to promote new energy vehicles, so uh, after discount, it's um, let me see, it's about like twenty thousand dollars, so uh, a few thousand dollars less. Um, this is the interior design of the vehicle. I think this is like a SUV version of the car. And I think uh, there is like a new trend coming on right now is that most of the control panel as well as the screen is used as a monitor. So people can kind of just interact with the screen and really enjoy the car ride experience. And this is one type of the vehicle set to really kind of promote. And then I think Chinese family and households are really uh, enjoying the SUV experience so far because majorities of the vehicle sets are being displayed right here are SUVs. And then we are heading toward Toyota. Um, I, I actually spoke to one of the sales representatives this morning. Um, the type of vehicles they are promoting right now is Corolla, as you can see right here. And then this one, the blue one, really stands out among the other ones, which are kind of white and uh, pale blue. This one is uh, unique. It's because it's plug-in hybrid. What plug-in hybrid mean is, um, as they explained to me, is the first, I think, 50 kilometer. It's used purely on electronic. But afterwards, you can use uh, gasoline as well uh, as to just go further. But for example, if you're running in a city like Beijing, you can use this type of car because the first 50 miles, you can just go on on electronic instead of really using your uh, gasoline money. And then this is like a higher class version of the vehicle. It's, it looks very slick and also as I mentioned previously, the bigger screen inside of the driving room. So Toyota is kind of leading in this uh, electronic and also new vehicle, new energy vehicles competition. Um, before, when I was stud studying abroad, I was driving a Prius. It's also Toyota. Uh, the reason why they are not uh, really promoting the previous model is because they feel like the Corolla experience can uh, is better fit for the Chinese household. It's more enjoyable, and then it fits. It, it got more leg room inside. So. This is a plug-in version, and then on my right-hand side right here, this is uh, the hybrid model that we mostly seen on the market. It's used gasoline and it generates electronic powers to save your gasoline money, but it still kind of heavily depend on uh, gasoline consumption. So as for them, this is uh, is still not as eco-friendly I say it's it is already low emission but uh, in comparison to the plug-in version it's still the most usual type they see because people still want to travel further they still want to uh, have a family trip 
a short distance family trip, instead of choosing the plug-in one, they might be choosing this one that it's mixed. And, uh, but this one is actually cheaper as what they told me this morning, and that one is more expensive because, um, for example, if you're a car hailing driver, if you choose the plug-in version, you might save your gasoline money, but you already earn some in your pocket. So it's more beneficial for you if you choose to use the electronic one, but price-wise, it's a little higher. And we continue to walk through here. I don't know what I will buy, for, to be honest, because I've, I like the look of this one, but I kind of drawn into the plug-in because if I travel from home to work, that means I really don't need to pay any gasoline money on that day. And we continue to walk around the exhibition here. Um, BMW this year, they say they don't have any salesperson to introduce any car model to us, but here are some of the new models that they put out right here. What really interests interest me is how they charge and then this is like a suv version of the electronic car but i think um on side by side the suv version the ix3 is uh run by chinese owned bmw and then the other one is the, uh by bmw so that's the difference and i actually want to step in here and get an experience of what it feels like being in a BMW. So I think um, in comparison to Toyota and the Xiandai that we, we just uh, take a few shots of, the panel here is still quite tiny, uh, but there are so many buttons here. I'm so concerned what I will be clicking um, if I get it wrong, but it still gives you a very modern and cool driving experience yeah and it's very spatial but what's interesting is I just realized for example if you push back a little bit here you don't get many lag room behind so I think you can give a happy driving experience but I don't know how the passengers sit behind feel and let's continue to move on so um, what they told me is that there are more than 150 vehicles being displayed here and uh, about 120 companies have joined into the exhibition and the advertisement here is super loud so we continue to walk through the pavilion to see what others are showing off. Um, what's what, uh, what the cars in this pavilion are majorly Chinese run and own companies um, because they really want to demonstrate China's ambition on really promoting this new energy vehicles and what consumers can really see in the markets, what their options are. And um, this is a three-day event, so this part is an exhibition. And then at the same time, there are forums going on on the other side of the, of the pavilion talking about major tech advancements of new energy vehicles as well as uh, some of the leading mindset on how to set up guidelines for these vehicles when they're on roads as well as uh, future policies on how to regulate them. I kind of like this tiny car right here. So I think what's interesting is that there are so many um, new types of vehicle showcasing right here. A city like Beijing doesn't have much parking space, but I think this type of little vehicles can actually sneak to the parking space very easily. So what is written right here is that you got three year free uh, road assistant services, and then you got a free charger for a plug-in. And then, as I mentioned previously, the government and the car makers are really trying to push the consumers to enjoy the benefit of new energy vehicle. So they give you 
thousand dollars of discounts, and I kind of want to sink in to see how it feels here. So I think there are only four cars. Obviously, you can see I'm not familiar with this new type of vehicles. I don't know where to pull. Ah, 你好，就观赏就行了，是吧 ？Yeah. So you can see I'm not familiar with this at all.、Um, different from the other vehicles. The driving panel sh、uh, show me where to go. It can just directly give me navigation, and then on the left panel it shows what the cars look like, how many battery it's currently at, and also, ooh, there are so many locations showing up. And then I'm、um, right here, yeah. So, but what I found is that I feel like if I trying to switch something here is kind of weird, right? Is angle it toward my Passenger right here instead of toward me. So if I'm driving, I can't really see it. It kind of blocked me from the AC. It started talking to me.、Um, sometimes too smart is not good either. So you can see the two seats right behind me. There's no leg room unless the person is like really push forward and like to let the other person have really space to sit. So、uh, it's. Kind of cranky, but anyway, it's cute. It's nice. I like the color, but I think it's too tiny for me at this point. Thank you. And let's walk over here. Ooh, they got a little activity going on back there. Let's see. Hmm. There are so many similar type of cars like this on the road already. I think they are hourly paid one.、Um, Similar services already like assisted overseas. For example, it's like rental services. They prefer to provide this type of car to first save costs on providing services as well as it's just easier for the drivers to go anywhere and then stick into places to park, to travel with friends, to hang out, to do grocery shopping. But of course, for more household, this is more、uh, efficient for their daily use and need. And we continue to walk to check out other cars. And one of the car cars right here really caught my attention, and I have been teasing it the whole day to my friends.、Um, it's a very tiny car. It has a little cute cute name called QQ, and、uh, Chinese consumers are very familiar with it, especially like millennial like me. It's just because. Um, when I was young, it was already there, and then now it's still here, but with a new addition. It's called the new energy. So let's take a look right here. Let's take bring our attention to the car. It's very pink, right? I I saw it yesterday, and I knew it. I have to show it. It's so pink, so bright. And then right here it says is like a queen version. So, of course now we're talking so much about like girl power.、Uh, this brand really want to emphasize girls can also enjoy their right right on the road right here. Let's see how much it costs. So it's fifteen.、Uh, no, it's one hundred fifty thousand. And then it got so many cute color white. Gray, red, yellow, and red、uh, and pink. I mean, so there are a lot of options for the color, and they also have like a tiny vending machine here to make sure you got some souvenir when you check out a car. So as you can see, the cars I've I've shown you are so tiny. It's just because right now parking space and all city traffic. Has been too much, so a tiny car like this can really squeeze in anywhere you want. And I want to get on the pink car. So let's see right here. So the interior is very cute too. The driving wheel and the the frame here is it the correct way to say it? And then you also get.、Uh, White screen right here. It's like interactive screen. You can、uh, run direction as well as 
uh, play music and etc. It's not as complicated as the BMW that I just show you. It just few panels to, to control the AC and then uh, just normal function right here. I feel like sometimes tech really helps you to enjoy your ride. It's smart, it's efficient, but sometimes a simple design like this, it's also I think good enough to a city ride in the and daily commute. And you can see like the leather here are pink and white. It's just a very simple and cute design. I mean, it caught my attention right away, but will I buy it? I don't know. So yeah, this is the cute pink car that I have to show everyone. Oh, yeah. And uh, just a few more sneak peeks to the pink one. Um, let's move on to this one SUV. It's the same company as the Cherry New Energy uh, SUV version of this. It's very large. And I always got a question whether new energy vehicle is really good for like cross country drive experience because um, at, at this point, because for, for me, for my own understanding, uh, electronic vehicle, they are lighter and control. And when I drive them, I feel like it's very light driving the steering wheel. So I'm very really curious about whether it will really suitable for long distance travel and the power is strong enough. Once again, the reason why we don't have a salesperson here is because uh, the vendor here, they say they rather just let us really enjoy the experience of really getting in the car to understand what it feels like, to see what the cars really are instead of getting a sales experience. So yeah, comparing to the pink car, this one is obviously more set up more advanced and it got more rooms right here and then ooh, the driving control panel is like huge so it's it's my first time to see something like this and it's instead of like an ipad straight hanging out right here it's like uh going across the board i think i don't know if it's connected but it's very interesting and then um it got a huge are going through right here it's very very cool but from the outside is already huge so i don't know how the driving experience is hmm interesting and it got a very special color and the car's name is called the ant so i don't know it has anything to do with the comic character but it will be interesting to know and this is the cute section that really draw my attention once I like when I walk in here I just like oh that pink car got to show you and we continue to grab our attention right here so as you can see most of the car that are displayed here have some common character they are small tiny space um, utilized and they are mostly new energy oriented either uh, electronic or aiming toward intelligent connected vehicles Ooh, this one is pretty cute too so this one didn't catch my attention but look at the interior design oh I hear the music already so I think the, <laughs> the music part is kind of cool and then um, I don't want to in my opinion is not very professional but the driving steering wheel look kind of flimsy in comparison to other one it's so thin um to grab on but obviously you got more space right here because there's nothing blocking and i think it's 
kind of want to have like an antique style. For example, right here, the buttons are made like, woo, oh, it actually can work. Uh, like a tapping button instead of clicking button. And here's the AC, it's the on and off for the car, maybe. I'm so scared if I click something wrong. Oh, it's the uh, air condition. And then, uh, just like the other car, it's like a panel that's across the board instead of like a diagonal one, that, that's just straight one that's right here. So yeah, I think when girls see this color, they just can't take their eyes off. And I'm one of them. How much is this car? I'm going to check out. So I think their innovation right here is to uh, design a car like, like a cat. So it's like a cat lady car. It's cheaper than the other one I introduced. This one is 100,000 100, and 5,000. So it's a little bit cheaper than that. So. For US dollars, it's only, let's see, my math is kind of bad at this point. Uh, seven, so two, 20,000? Less than 20,000? Yeah. Seven, can't count, sorry. Yeah, 10, 10 to 20,000 dollars for this kind of car. And then it gave a really cute name to the frame or to the structure of this car. It's called Lemon lemon frame, lemon structure. So I think it's going for a cuter design outside as well as the white and orange one right behind me right here. It's cute, it's smart, but at the same time it's fun. And then sometimes what's interesting is that, oh, look at the light, front light right here. I think I sometimes joke with my dad is that this car are like coming out of cartoon. Can they like go on road safely? Can they like really function? So it's just very interesting to see this kind of cute car, whether they can really work because because sometimes this type of car, like this type of design is really limited to girls instead of the new energy perspective, whether the cuteness really can play into the big picture of making the buying decision. I don't know. And I think this one is no different than the other one. It's just cute. And yeah, oh, it's so comfy in here. But the leather, the smell of the leather is very strong. So it's, an, it's a new car. Cars. And you can see uh, the, the cars that I've just walked around, the red one, the, the, uh, the pinkish white one, and also the orange one, as you can see, they are very tiny. I think they are all associated with some kind of cats. So I think having like a cute outside and also having a cute name maybe sometimes help and I think this is the Nissan intelligent section right here and then on my left hand side is uh, part of the management and control data that's displayed on screen right here and this is like a concept car being displayed at this place So I want to give you a few information here. So China is really trying to push this autopilot unmanned car on road. 
And as I spoke to some of the experts yesterday, they think this is really need to be a collective, uh, a collective effort between tech expert and car expert because they have to have fast enough internet to let all this happen. So when cars are capable of doing this, they still really need the internet being able to catch up to respond to all the demand from the cars and also let the passenger have a great experience on road. So while the double eleven is just over, many are wondering uh, how the trend, the delivery service are catching up and all that. For example, right here at the exhibition, they also have companies like Meituan showing off your latest delivery boxes that can travel across the residential compound to really deliver packages instead of having delivery men do that. And this is one of the experience part of the display, for example, having a car on road. While you're watching the image of uh, visitors trying out the new new fun game right here, I want to give you a few background. Like this morning, I spoke to one of the experts who designed the support system behind unmanned vehicle. Uh, her name is uh, Jai Miao Miao, and she told me that at this point of time, even though we don't have a man vehicles on road yet, but they are currently testing. And they have been design, uh, working on a design of a system that can help a man vehicle, for example, when they're stuck in the middle of nowhere, they are able to respond to it. For example, if you have an unmanned vehicle stuck in Beijing, the system they design can help passenger uh, can can help the unmanned vehicle g direct to a safer place for them and then uh, to for for technical backup to grab that car and transport it to somewhere else so while we see physical cars here there are also experts developing this systems to help to support when unmanned vehicles are in place there are people to watch over for our safety as well as uh, help us when we face any technical difficulties <laughs> So what they are introducing here is, as what I just uh, explained, there are cars controlled by a backup system to uh, ensure our safety. This is like a, sorry, I just lost my word, a drone to help, for example, monitor uh, a man vehicles as well as monitoring uh, recycle or releasing drones on main drones it, it's like a monitoring system and backup system when there are so many unmanned stuff flying around going around there they have to be a control under a certain system and these are the companies that are providing those services because they have to have a complete supply chain in order to really support the cars running on the road as well as people traveling safely across the country so what we are what we just saw are a whole bunch of cars but who are the people supporting this car and make sure we have a safer place to go uh, when driving on road 
are these systems and company and all these smart brains behind all the designs and let me get out of here. because it's from the environmental uh, cleaning department. I don't know, it might scare someone if <laughs> they are being on road, you got chased by one of them. Just kind of cool. And I think this is what we have for you today. And uh, we saw cars, we see some fun design behind uh, the future smart and tech cities that might, that we might live in very soon. So um, this is the exhibition. And so once again, let me brief you again. What we just saw, majority of them are the new energy vehicles as well as uh, intel intelligent connected vehicles. We might see them already being used, but what the experts are really trying to emphasize, we are still at an experimental and research stage to really understand how to uh, let the internet and 5G and everything come together to help us live a smarter and safer day and life. And that's all I have for you, and I'm Tinsuyam, and bye for now.